Welcome back to your next lesson on choosing your wedding party. In this lesson, we'll cover what a wedding party consists of, what responsibilities they have, how do you choose your wedding party, how many people you need, the costs related to being in a wedding party, and how to ask them to be a part of your big day. Did you know that today, only 60% of couples divide their wedding party by gender and only 54% have equal numbers of members on each side, and that the average wedding has nine bridal party members? Let's begin by going over the actual wedding party itself. So what does a wedding party consist of? Your wedding party consists of all the special people in your life that you would like to be a part of your wedding by helping you to plan certain aspects of it. These people consist of your maid, or matron of honor, bridesmaids, junior bridesmaids, flower girls, best man, groomsmen, junior groomsmen, ring bearer, your parents, your officiants, and your readers or ushers. So now that you know who makes up the wedding party, let's go over the traditional duties and responsibilities of each one. The maid or matron of honor. If she's married, she's called a matron of honor. If she's single, she's called the maid of honor. And traditionally, this person is the bride's sister or closest friend. Her role, as far as responsibilities, are dress shopping and fittings, organizing the bridal shower and bachelorette party. She helps with the tasks like addressing envelopes or recording of the gifts received. She helps the bride get dressed the day of the wedding. She signs the marriage license as the bride's witness. She arranges her veil and train during the processional and recessional. She holds the bride's bouquet at the altar. She gives a speech during the reception and helps the bride change after the reception. The bridesmaids and junior bridesmaids assist the maid of honor with her wedding duties, helps the bride as needed, walks in the processional and recessional, and mingles and dances at the reception. The best man is traditionally the groom's brother or best friend, and his role is to organize the bachelor party, help coordinate the groom's formal wear fittings and the groomsman's formal wear fittings. He helps pick up the groom's attire before the wedding, gives a toast at the rehearsal dinner and wedding reception. He confirms honeymoon reservations and travel the day before the wedding, gets the groom to the ceremony on time, he brings the bride and groom's rings, holds the officiant's fee until after the ceremony. He helps sign the marriage license as the groom's witness. He makes sure the getaway car is ready with all luggage and decor. And he returns all rented formal wear. The groomsmen and junior groomsmen assist the best man with his wedding duties, helps plan and host the bachelor party, get fitted for their formal wear, help guests see to their seat at the ceremony, and they mingle and dance with the wedding guests. Your flower girl or flower girls walk ahead of the bride scattering flower petals in her path during the ceremony, and they are part of the rehearsal, dinner, and reception. Your ring bearer or ring bearers carry the wedding rings down the aisle on a satin pillow or other prop and they're also part of the rehearsal dinner and reception. The parents of the bride pay for the majority of the wedding expenses. They host the first engagement party. They purchase attire for all of the events. The bride's mother guides and helps her choose the important details of her wedding day. The father escorts the bride to the ceremony and walks her down the aisle. The father is the last to leave the reception after thanking each guest and saying good night and the father of the bride settles all outstanding bills at the end of the night. The parents of the groom host the second engagement party. They provide a list of guests to the couple to invite. They consult with the bride's parents on attire. They purchase attire for all events, host the rehearsal dinner, and may contribute to some other wedding expenses. The officiant's role and primary responsibility is to legally marry you. He or she must sign your marriage license 
and he or she may even submit the license on your behalf only if you want a copy mailed to you. If you want to pick up copies, you'd have to go and do it yourself. Readers and Ushers Readers read special passages during your ceremony while your ushers help seat your guests at the ceremony. So now let's talk about how to choose your wedding party. When it comes time to choose the members of your bridal party, there are a few factors you might want to consider before actually asking someone. And first is you'll want to make sure that they actually have the time to do it. If someone is going through a lot in their own personal lives, they may not have the time to dedicate to help you plan or may not be available on that day. You'll also want to make sure that there will be no financial burdens to them by being in part of the bridal party. If you want your best friend Anna, who lives in Africa, to be your maid of honor, you'll want to keep in mind that Anna may have to request time off of work, paid or unpaid depending on her current situation. She'll have to pay for a round trip airline ticket and accommodations for at minimum three to four nights. She'll also have to pay for her bridesmaid's dress, shoes, and attire. She'll also need to get her hair and makeup done, plan and contribute to a bachelorette party, and she may also need to rent a car to help you with all of your errands you need help with at the last minute and perhaps even shuttle some of your guests around. There are a lot of duties and expenses that come along with being in a bridal party. So you're going to want to make sure that you take that into consideration before asking someone to be a part of it. If you know someone is struggling financially, the last thing you're going to want to do is add to their burdens. Also, you might want to think twice before actually asking someone to be a part of your bridal party. And the reason for this is once you've asked someone to be in your wedding party, you can't go back. I know selecting your bridal party is exciting and fun, and you may just want to ask all your friends to be in your wedding party the minute you announce your engagement. But I caution you to really take your time in making this decision. Better yet, ask yourself these two questions about each member. One, will you be just as close to this person in five years as you are now? And two, how well will they mesh with the rest of your crew? And if you're still on the fence after asking yourself those two questions, you may want to think about the type of role you want them to play in your wedding party. Make sure they know what you're asking of them. Is it enough for them to just show up in the dress or suit you choose on the day of your wedding? Or do you want a bridal party that is more involved, like helping you shop and make important decisions, maybe even help with addressing the invites? And when it comes to including sisters or brothers be in the wedding party, you might want to keep in mind that even if you don't know them well right away now, or maybe you're not close at all, those siblings will be around, God willing, forever, so you might want to include them. Now, if your list is out of hand because you have 10 best girlfriends and two sisters and he has three sisters and between your 35 cousins, you're going to have to draw the line somewhere and stick to it. You will also want to keep in mind when choosing people to be in your bridal party that you choose those who are responsible. Remember, you're going to need to rely on these people not only to help you plan some big tasks, but to also keep your ring safe, to show up on time, and to also be your emotional support. While you do want wedding party members who are fun and will make your day memorable, just make sure they are just as responsible as they are fun. But hey, listen, if you know your best man is not the most dependable, you can always choose to have two. One that's your best friend and the other one that you can rely on for the most important duties. This way, no one's feelings are hurt and you're sure you have chosen someone who will not forget your marriage license in an Uber. Also, please keep in mind when choosing your bridal party that just because you were in their wedding doesn't mean they have to be in yours. There's no rule on this one and... Flower girls and ring bearers are not required in a wedding party and neither are junior bridesmaids and groomsmen or even bridesmaids or groomsmen. So while we're on the subject, let's actually spend a few minutes going over this next topic of how many people you need. The average wedding has nine bridal party members. Yes, you heard me right, nine. Whether that be five on the bride's side and four on the groom's, or four on each side and one flower girl, 
However couples choose, this is the average number of bridal party members, so you can use that as a guide. I recommend if you're having a smaller wedding with around 50 to 60 guests, you would want to have no more than six bridal party members. But for a large wedding of say 150, you could go up to 12 max if you really want it. Keep in mind though, that the more doesn't always equal the merrier. The more bridal party members you have, the more gifts you'll have to buy, the more input you'll have when it comes to the attire, and the more opinion, opinions you will get about where to host the bachelor or bachelorette party and forget trying to get that many people on the same page at the same time. Not to mention if they have the time to complete their duties with their busy schedules. Now, if you have many people that you want to include and can just not fit them all into the bridal party category, you can always include them by giving them a different role. You may need readers, ushers, candlelighters, pages, or even hoopla carriers. You can find a way to include special people in your day without making them all a part of the bridal party. Otherwise, you'll end up like this poor couple in Sri Lanka who hold the world's record with 126 bridesmaids, 25 best men, 20 page boys, and 23 flower girls. Next, let's go over the costs involved in being in a wedding party. I wanted to add in here a little cheat sheet as a reminder to what each member of the bridal party will need to pay in order to be a part of your wedding. As you'll see, most members will have to pay for their travel, transportation, accommodations, and attire. When you add the title of best man or maid of honor, then you have some additional expenses and time equated into that. Now let's go over what's trending in bridal parties. One of the most popular things right now that is trending in bridal parties are creative and unique ways to ask your friends and family to be a part of your special day. Pop the question boxes are becoming very trendy for your bridesmaids, groomsmen, and even flower girls and ring bearers. Then we have smaller wedding parties, grandmothers as the flower girls, having members of the opposite sex on each side, and hiring babysitters so your guests do not have to leave their children at home or hire a sitter and can still enjoy the ceremony and reception.